I'm John Sazuri, presiding pastor of Encouraging World Revival Mission, number 37 on Zani Road, 11 Wapata Court, here in Nigeria. Hi, good afternoon. I am Apostle Khadija Richardson. I am the overseer of Impact Apostolic Ministry. I am coming to you today uh, to share something that's very near and dear to my heart. I want to talk about a pastor that I met um, several years ago. I have been going back and forth to Nigeria for probably the last good 10, 15 years. And on one of those trips, I was in Kaduna, Nigeria, and I was doing a leadership class. And I was so impressed with this young man and with his knowledge of the Word of God and his zeal for evangelism. And uh, he and I struck up a relationship. Later, the Lord established a ministry for him called Encouraging Word in Port Harcourt. And the Lord sent him there because of the need of the people. And uh, what was creating such a devastating need uh, for the type of ministry that he and his wife has is oil spills. There has been, over the last 50 years, uh, oil spill after oil spill after oil spill and uh, with very little cleanup. And so what has happened in the course of this time, it has destroyed a way of life for people. There are no jobs, uh, roads are deplorable, and there's acute hardship. A lot of people couldn't make it to church today because of lack of money to take transport and to give offering in church. A lot of families are hungry, they, they, they sleep hungry in the night and wake up without anything to, to eat. So we really need some intervention. We need your help, America. Port Accord is a city that is on a river and it is how the people have lived as fishermen, as farmers, uh, producing uh, produce that they sold in markets and all of that has been devastated because of the oil spills. And so what that has produced um, is high unemployment, it has produced sickness, it has produced diseases, uh, the water killing the fish, killing the birds, the wildlife that was in that area. Uh, it has caused the water to be unsafe. No one can drink the water. That Delta Niger area, everybody has to purchase water. And you're talking about people purchasing water who cannot afford to purchase food. Uh, when I went there, I actually went to Port Accord uh, to a minister and I wanted to see the water. And when I went down there, I was mortified at what I saw. When we came down to the pier for miles, all you could see was these green boats floating in what should have been water but they were floating in oil and as the wind blew you could see the oil moving all across the water there was a a indescribable stench from the dead fish and things in the water and then i kind of glanced to the right trying to absorb everything that i was seeing because it was quite an emotional picture for me. Um, there was a pier with a bird sitting on it and I'd never seen that bird before in my life. So I inquired, what is this? What, what kind of bird is this? Uh, because it was hideous. It's like something out of a prehistoric time period. And he said to me, mommy, it's a seagull. And my heart fell because the bird was gray and black and the feathers were all 
uh, just matted together. It was a horrible sight. And then as my eyes continued going around, there were children uh, playing. There were people uh, living in uh, man-made shanties and uh, uh, huts and things. And they are exposed to this on a daily basis. And so for a few minutes, all I could do was just cry. And I was overwhelmed at everything that I saw. And, And really from that moment forward, inside of my heart it was like what can we do uh how can we help them right now we have a, 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 a couple of our spiritual sons and daughters uh staying with us and they need help they need a job they need to be catered for some god combat some got converted from one cause or the other. And today they are with us, we need to give them hope. So we are appealing to you over there to support us, to team up with us. So this is for the Lord. And this is not just about us, it's for the Lord, it's for the kingdom's sake. To so establish this farm, this poultry farm for to raise birds. Pastor Agori and I had been communicating what can we do, how can we help the people, and the idea that we came up with was to be able to have a chicken coop. So the idea is that we would purchase a piece of land, build some chicken coops, and this would give employment, um, this would give a, a benefit to the church to be able to help support both. And then on top of that, um, be able to restore people's dignity in going to work. We looked at the cost of what it's going to take to purchase the land and and the uh, supplies that are going to be needed to build and stock it with chickens is going to be roughly $5,000. It could be a little more, but for the prices that we have today, that is the price. So any monies that are given uh, to this venture will go solely to a Pastor Agori for this, for this, and uh, we will be able to follow it. We will post videos and things of the building process uh, so that people can uh, see where this money is actually going. Um, Our ministry will not take a single dime. Everything will go to Pastor Agori uh, for this endeavor. So I encourage you to one, we have included a link Um, that you can go and get more information about what I'm talking about. But I really encourage you to share this. Ask every one of your friends. If everybody does something, we can make a big difference over there. We are appealing to you guys to help us. You probably may have seen a deplorable environment in which we are located. The roads are bad. There is no light. We run the service. This morning, throughout its generator, we have to fuel the generator and all of that. So, we are really, really on the siege here in Nigeria, and we really need your help. Whatever token you can afford to support this farm business, the kingdom of God will rejoice over you, and heaven will bless you richly. I'm waiting to hear from you, our partners over there and our family. We love you so much and we are praying for you. God bless you all and thank you for this. These are our brothers and sisters and they are in dire straits and we are asking you to help. So I pray that you would just do that, that your heart will be moved and that you will share it so other people can have the same opportunity to give. And thank you so much for your time.